Hi Pisces, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your reading. It's going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Feel free to check out your other places for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I'm going to be pulling from my Oracle deck and then I'll get into the tarot. Now time is fluid, so whatever situation I talk about today could have happened in the past, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. And roles can be reversed. So I can be talking about you, or I can be talking about the person you are involved with, or the situation, you know, if it's like a friendship situation or something like that. The other, basically the other person. All right, spirit, please. Messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. Thank you. Dragon's Lair. Ooh, okay. I am going to read that card because it has a very... The message that I got when I first started learning these cards for that one in particular is kind of going through a tough situation. Um, situation with more, I want to say, toxic or negative energy. So... I want to know what else the book has to say about that, just in case there are some messages that could resonate with you guys. Oh, I want that one. Contract, okay. Pisces, thank you so much again for those of you who have liked, shared, subscribed, or left a comment. I really appreciate it, and I read all of your comments. I am starting to recognize some of the names, which I think is awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And please let me know in the comments, you know, if this resonated with you or what the situation is. Um, because I love to kind of hear and see what everybody gets from these readings. So oh, I want that one. Stuck in the mud, contract and dragon's lair. What is going on, Pisces? <laughs> hmm. Let's start with dragon's lair and see what that's all about. Because when I first saw that card, I thought like a lion's den <laughs> so let's see what the book has to say okay so you have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment you're about to enter dangerous territory so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings the path you're on will challenge you to the core that said peril is also exciting and exhilarating like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life fully lived isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The, the, cho nah, I cannot speak. the choice is yours, but there's greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged. Hmm, interesting. And we have that right next to stuck in the mud. And stuck in the mud is more of an energy of not being able to move forward or backward. Slowing down, right? Um, shifting your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere because struggling will only make things worse. So the book says that now is not the time to move forward but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now, be still and know that spirit has a plan for you. Wow, I love that energy. I feel like these cards, when you first see them, they tend to have kind of like negative connotations. But I feel like the messages are deeper. So definitely I feel like you guys are on a path that will be challenging, but it's a path that spirit has laid out for you. I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with some sort of legal situation because we do have contract here, which is very similar to the card um, Justice in the Tarot. Um, so I feel like a lot of you are kind of, I don't know, it's like, an, it's like almost I'm getting some of you taking more risk than usual or considering taking more risk, whether it's a person or a risk for a new opportunity of some sort. So contract is, um, it could be a business deal, sale of a new home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. 
So this is something binding. And I feel like that's why some of you are being called to kind of stop and observe before you jump into something that could be potentially more challenging. And I feel like spirit is also saying, I got you. So let's see what the tarot has to say. I really feel like this might be a more, like it's a, definitely a reading that's gonna be for just a few of you or, I mean, we'll see what the tarot has to say, but I feel like this is definitely for some of you out there where your situation is not like others. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am getting that it's not gonna be a typical reading. So I'm excited to dig in and see what that energy is all about so spirit please tell me more about the situation for pisces messages for pisces these messages are for pisces sun moon rising and venus cross watchers are always welcome wow i was about to stop but i definitely want to keep going messages for pisces i've been getting some really interesting interesting messages for the other signs so let's see what we have for pisces what do we have for Pisces? Oh my God. Okay. Starting off with three cards. King of Swords, the Devil, Four of Pentacles. Anything else for Pisces? Definitely I'm getting that this stuck in the mud card um, could be related to this Devil energy here. Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's wrap this up and then I'll kind of share what I've... Wow, Ace of Wands. Wow, okay. Tell me more for Pisces. Now this is meant to be a general reading, but it ends up being relationship readings for a lot of the other signs. So we'll see what this is all about. Definitely with contract up there, I'm getting either a legally binding marriage or some sort of commitment with a business or a lease judgment what else for pisces what else is pisces nine of swords okay i have the tower under the deck which is starting to make a lot of sense for me with these other cards as well as queen of pentacles right under that For a lot of you, this stuck in the mud, this feeling trapped, uh, I feel like that's there's gonna be an end to that. You're gonna be cutting that out. I feel like some of you are tired of not having any options. Um, others of you are trying to protect yourself and it's like you, you can't stop thinking about something here with nine of swords some of you could be feeling guilt or stress anxiety um and i feel like it's tied to this judgment card which i'm not sure why i'm getting that but judgment this is all about resurrection um this is all about a spiritual awakening of some sort a revival And I think it's going to lead you to this Ace of Wands down here. But first, I get this Tower moment. So I definitely feel like this is very similar to Dragon Slayer, which let me just show you guys the card. There, there seems to be some sort of tower there covered in ice. And there's stairs leading up to it and there's windows. And um, I feel like this is very similar to this Tower card. So something unexpected, a crumbling of a foundation of some sort um, for something new to begin with the ace of wands i feel like spirit is saying before you act before you you act on this ace of wands really stop and think weigh your options right before you get into something long term is what i'm getting so let's clarify and see what this is all about. Tell me about this King of Swords for Pisces. What an interesting reading. Like, it's just not clear to me. Like, I feel like other readings are easy and you kind of can see where it's leading. 
and where spirit wants to take you. And then in other readings, I feel like you have to kind of see. So this is the emperor that just came out here, sign of Aries. This is someone coming into their power, making a decision, being decisive here. I have Aries, I mean, Emperor, yes, sign of Aries, but I have the Emperor and King of Swords. These, these men are both, um, how do I say this? They're both very serious. They're both wise. Um, they're both willing to do what it takes as well. Um, King of Swords doesn't let his emotions get in the way and neither does the Emperor. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is a very rational decision here. One based on logic and truth. I feel like a lot of you are coming into your power this month. Um, and it's going to start with that tower moment. Six of Pentacles under the deck. So I really feel like things are going to come into balance here for you. Tell me more about this Emperor and the King of Swords. That was sloppy tell me more about the emperor and the king of swords for pisces thank you wow five of swords definitely i feel like a lot of you have dealt with situations that were not fair to you a situation when someone was maybe cheating or trying to do stuff behind your back and I feel like you're not interested in this energy. You're going to walk away from this energy. You're not even going to try. You're more concerned with cutting out. How do I say this? You're more concerned about looking forward. And it's like you don't have time for games. Like you're in serious mode, Pisces, because you have something to, to work on, to accomplish, to achieve have page of pentacles under the deck i feel like there's an offer of some sort coming in and it's going to cause you it's almost like it's almost like you've left the past behind with this eight of cups energy to look forward and it's like heaven is rewarding you for that with the page of pentacles wow and the magician just fell out tell me about the devil i feel like a lot of you have been wanting it's like, it's like I'm getting some of you have just been wanting a chance, an opportunity to take a risk, to go after what you want, even if it's difficult, even if it's challenging. Tell me about the devil. And that could be a person or a job or something else. I have the fool here with the devil. I feel like breaking free is what I heard. Someone's breaking free of a mental prison of feeling trapped. They're going on a new journey and guess who's under the deck? Justice. Some of you could be dealing with a legal matter where you feel trapped right now and once the decision comes in, you're gonna free yourself. For others of you, you're gonna do this for yourself. You're gonna free yourself from a person or a situation. You're gonna rebalance the scales for yourself to open new opportunities. And the fool, I feel, is very similar to this dragon's layer energy where you're not you're not afraid to take a risk. I really am getting that. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are tired of being stuck in the mud. The lovers just came out. Sign of Gemini here with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you have been holding on to a connection. Others of you are afraid of opening up to a connection. I have uh, the higher font under the deck. Some of you could be married to this person or are wanting commitment from this person or were in a committed commitment with someone. Um, tell me, tell me more about the lovers and the four of pentacles, please for Pisces. I feel like this reading might get a little bit long. Hope you don't mind Pisces. Tell me more about this four of pentacles and the lovers. What is this about here? Page of Wands with Ace of Wands down here. Interesting. I feel like this is definitely a progression here. I feel like a lot of you were kind of protecting yourself, holding on to something. I feel like protecting your heart, your emotions. And then there's like a spark. 
It, this could also be in relation to someone wanting to start a business with someone else. And there is like initial communication about that. Others of you have some sort of passionate endeavor you want to go on with the fool, um, something completely new. Um, and you're going to get help with that, with the lovers. And for others of you, this is definitely a relationship. I feel with the fool, this could be someone new. Or if you're with someone already, this is like a new... You're taking a leap of faith on something in your relationship. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow, four of cups. Some of you might not want to miss this opportunity. That's two fours here that I have, a four of pentacles and four of cups. I feel like a lot of you have been disinterested um, in maybe love or doing anything new until this tower moment comes in. And it kind of like wakes you up, right, with judgment. There's like, there's like an awakening or some sort of action or judgment call you have to make and the, here's where the two of pentacles comes in the weighing of options some some of you have been juggling a little too much high priestess just came out maybe you don't have all the answers all the information and it's causing you to kind of hesitate in making a decision tell me more about this two of pentacles for pisces please what a strange reading this will definitely i i really am getting this won't resonate with everyone, but just take what resonates because, you know, this, I, I just felt the energy when I first started that this was not going to be any typical reading. And that's not to say that all my readings are like the same, but usually I can see where they're headed. I don't see where this one is headed. So I am waiting for spirit to clarify and tell the story, right? Tell me more about the two of pentacles. And the high priest. Oh, I want that one. The star. Wow. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm getting with the two of pentacles here. The high priestess and the star. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius in their chart. Others of you, I feel like even though you don't know everything, you have hope. You have faith. You might not know where you're headed or where this path will lead, you know? You'll, you, you don't know if you're walking into a lion's den or what's going to happen, but you have faith. Because I feel like you're going after your wish, after your heart's desire. Whatever that is. Like I said, it could be a person. It could be, it could be a, um, a job, a moving somewhere new. It could be something like that. And I mentioned job because I have the Three of Pentacles down here. This is all about work, collaboration, building. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles for Pisces. Thank you. Another three, the Three of Wands. Some of you are waiting for the results of a group effort or waiting for the results of something that you've built. Some of you are waiting on communication. Tell me more about the Three of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, please. For Pisces. Ace of Swords, another Ace. Clarity, truth, information. Some of you are waiting for clarity before you begin something, a project, a building, a foundation of some sort, um, working on a relationship. It's like you're waiting for something to happen first. You're waiting for that aha moment or you're waiting for truth. Interesting. And that's going to lead you to this Ace of Wands here. I have the Strength card under the deck. So definitely you could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries, a Gemini, a Libra. Who else did I get? Aries again. I have Aries twice here. Aquarius. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What is this new beginning all about? This is all about a passionate new beginning. What is this new beginning all about for Pisces? Wow, the Empress. We have the Emperor and the Empress. Beautiful. Anything else for this Ace of Wands? Definitely, this could be in, re in regards to a partnership of some sort. Coming together with someone that kind of mirrors you or, you know, Emperor and Empress. They're like the it power couple. Wow, we got uh, Temperance with the Empress. 
So temperance, sign of Sagittarius, you could be dealing with someone, you know, Sagittarius, you don't have to be. What I'm getting here is that a lot of you have been patiently waiting and taking your time to grow. It's like you, you want to build something that will last. So you're going to take your time. But this is definitely a passionate new beginning. It's like you're going after your dream. I feel like divine, the divine has stepped in as well to kind of guide you. Uh, some of you, I feel like, are going to have a family or are going to have children. Um, others of you are getting married or in a commitment to an emperor. Um that type of energy so definitely a partnership here with contract maybe a marriage and it's like you've been waiting for this to happen i'm sorry about my dogs i think there's somebody outside tell me about judgment for pisces oh that is way too many tell me about judgment for pisces this Pisces needs to know. Thank you. Wow, five of cups. And then right next to it, the nine of swords. Someone's feeling regretful or feeling guilt. Um, I'm getting second chance. I'm getting renewal. Almost like they want to they wanna transform this energy. Why the five of cups? Why the five of cups? What a weird reading. <laughs> Pisces, I hope you guys are in the comments telling me what I'm not seeing here. I'm just going to take all these. Wow, Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Six of Pentacles comes out again. Someone definitely could be coming to, to make an apology. They could be living at a distance from you. Could be a Cancer or someone with water in their chart here. Someone could be making an offer of love as well. I feel like that, you know, I'm getting this from a lot of the signs. Um, almost like someone's trying to to make things right to resurrect something that probably didn't end well or probably was stuck. You know, there was no movement in something. And then all of a sudden, here's the chariot and the page of cups. Someone that wants to move something forward. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. I don't know if you're going to accept this person. Wow, Ten of Wands. Anything else for this Knight of Swords? I don't know if you're going to accept this person or if you're going to... A magician came out again. Or if you're going to um, go on this journey. Like, make this choice. Like, some of you could just be thinking about this and you're stuck in the mud. You haven't made a decision yet. It's like, you know you have a dream, but you need the guts to do it or the right time to do it, or the right resources to do it. I'm seeing this as a sign from spirit that you should still go for it. Sometimes life isn't supposed to be easy and there's excitement and fulfillment from taking a risk. I see here nine of swords, 10 of wands, and the magician. Some of you are manifesting a way out of this energy, a way out of this burden, this stress, this anxiety, this constant. Some of you aren't sleeping very well because all you can think about is everything that you're carrying with you and it's like you want to manifest a way out of this situation i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and once again thank you to everyone that subscribed liked or commented on my recent videos i really appreciate your support and i'll see you guys in my next video